All right, so Colin's gonna be here in any minute and we're gonna talk about what we're gonna do. We're in Boston at our hotel. Got in last night. Not sure what we're gonna do today. We're gonna try to do some more hot more stuff and try to do some, um, you know, check out maybe, maybe Salem. Uh, flew out of the Home Alone 2 terminal. Slept like a baby here at the something. What hotel are we at? Oh, speak of the dumb. <laughs> okay. We just light up here, so we're gonna... How'd you sleep? Slept like a damn baby. Good. My room is incredible. What are we thinking today? I, I don't know. Have a seat. All right. Got, got this little meeting table. I think. You ready to smack my witch up or what? <laughs> yeah. Do you want to do Salem? I think we have to. We're is that here. that's kind of the the obvious one? Yeah. It's the scariest place on earth. Time Magazine. Is <laughs> did you do some research and that's what it was? I would think so. How far is it from here? Do you know? 40 minutes. Easy. Easy. <laughs> Spirits are already <laughs> awakening. Yeah. Uh, okay, so we'll, we're over there. What Here's we... what I'm thinking. Yeah. Kurt Ballou, Converge. God City's in That's Salem. That's in Salem. So we could talk to Kurt, get some insight on what it's like to be a local, run a business out of Salem. If he's seen anything, heard anything, knows anything. Battles. Battles. Uh, you know, we'll take his Rex. Have you ever been to Salem? Never been. I've never been either. And from what I s have seen, there's like a lot of stuff. So I, I think we should be able to kind of walk around and get plenty. But finding a local yeah. is kind of the priority. Yeah. I got like 50 bucks to spare, you know? <laughs> like Maybe we exactly. can pay some, some, some guy to... Or gal. Around. Or gal. Anyone, really. So true. Because Lord knows the witch trials didn't discriminate. All right. How was your flight? Sucked dick. What do you think? <laughs> what, what airline did you take? American. I mean, it was, again, like, no internet. It's bullshit, man. My internet worked great. I had American. All right. See you there. Give your key. We're live in Salem, Massachusetts. We're gonna to talk to Kurt Ballou from Converge today in God City Studios, and he's gonna tell us where the ghouls and goblins inspectors exist in, the, in what Time Magazine has called scariest fucking place on earth. Entire exact world. quote. <laughs> I'm ready. Yeah, I'm ready. Are Let's you go. ready? I'm fucking freezing. Oh my God. Look, witches, it's very scary. We came off season. Yeah, yeah. Because the inspectors aren't expecting us. It's December, everything here is closed. The yeah. tourists are gone, only the ghosts remain. <laughs> Nightmare Gallery Monster Museum. <laughs> yeah, this is awesome. Yeah, it is awesome, actually. <laughs> Shit. It's a cool town. It is a cool town. There's a lot of witchies walking around. There's this, a magic parlor. This is where people were burned at the stake, and now look, CVS. We walk amongst the echoes of lives. Very well said, Bowen. <laughs> Thanks, I just made that up. Can we, can we tuck this away so it's not so... <laughs> do you want to like, scrim? It's on TV, bro. Do you want to scrim? Travel Channel's going to come calling. we got to be ready. Zach Bagans is going to see this. Do we make this the beginning, or do we? is this like, do we do an intro before we're talking to Kurt? Better to have more than not enough, so I say do the intro. And then we can cut it if we'd get yep. a, a different intro. Okay. So do a blast off All right. for me right there, Papa. You're good to go. You're good to go? I'm gonna transform. You're not gonna recognize me. <laughs> All right, ready? Sean, welcome back to Haunt Lore Stories from Tour. What's up, Bo? Hey, man. Are you scared yet? I'm, I'm good. You're about to be. We're live in Salem, Massachusetts at God City Studios with legendary recording engineer and local resident. Kurt Blue. Spooky, scary. Kurt, how are you doing? I'm well, how are you? It's good to see you. How are you holding up as a resident of Time Magazine's scariest place in the world? <laughs> uh, I feel great now that Halloween season is over. Uh, we heard... I'm scared of tourists. We heard on the way here that it was a little rough this year. Um, Honestly, last year was worse. Okay. Um, Just witchy women everywhere? <laughs> <laughs> what up, weach? <laughs> You know, I was, uh, um, you know, done a bunch of work with Chelsea Wolf, and she was telling me one time that she was walking around in Salem, and somebody drove by in a car and just went, "Witch!" to her, and she thought it was like the greatest thing. Ever. <laughs> when she was here, it took one of the coolest pictures ever. 
yeah. of like a stiletto on a pedal. Amazing. I remember that one, yeah. Amazing. Long story. Yeah. It's a good pedal. Yeah, John, oh, John Schneider from Electronic Audio Experiments is a, is a local and amazing pedal designer. And yeah, she, I think she still uses that thing. How long have you been in this building? Uh, I've been here since 2003. No. Technically, <laughs> December 31st, 2002. Wow, we're coming somewhere. up on this is the 20 year anniversary. Yeah, yeah, yes. So now in near in almost 20 years, have you ever had an experience? Well, so <laughs> this this studio has um, a steam heat system. Okay. And oh, so the pipes are really yeah. loud. Yeah, and yeah. so bands are constantly spooked out. And I have a very creaky floor. Mm -hmm. So bands are always spooked out. And you'll like you'll like walk somewhere and then like 20 minutes later the floor will settle like a little nail moves. So it's it always sounds like something's going on here. There's also a mysterious patch of concrete in the basement, where it looks like maybe the body. some the bodies are about the bodies, six feet uh, long, yeah. six feet deep. Yes. Well, I don't know how you deep can it just is. Just explain that. But it's a human-shaped. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's an exact like is a like a like it? a gingerbread man. Like uh, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Just the uh, <laughs> but yeah, when I when I moved in here, there was uh, well two things. The interesting thing happened when I moved in. So I when I when I bought the building, I had to gut the whole building. I built an apartment upstairs and I built the studio ask, here, yeah. Yeah. and. Um, one of the windows upstairs had a bullet hole in it, and also, what like when I was doing the construction, I don't that like I don't a know. musket bullet. Yeah, oh, yes, yeah, a musket bullet. Old timey. Yeah, old timey musket bullet. Old town. But yeah, when I was doing construction before I had like air conditioning and stuff, I had you know all the doors, all the windows open just to get some airflow, and so like the townies would stop by periodically and be like, "Oh yeah, I used to go to this here when back when it was a sub shop," and you know share <laughs> anecdotes of. Um, really? The different, because it's a 100 year old building, so yeah. it's been a whole bunch of things Ooh. over the years. And uh, there was one time where somebody stopped by and was like, Yeah, shame about what happened here, huh? And I was like, What do you mean? And they're like, Oh, never mind. And just took off. And like, I like chased him down, like, and couldn't get the story out of them as to what happened here. Because there's probably a three year. After three years, you don't have to disclose it to who you're, and at least in California. Oh, if somebody yeah. dies and something yeah, yeah, you're yeah. selling or renting, you don't have to tell them. After three, three years, yeah, three I have. Years. I mean, I have no idea. Long. I guess if I really wanted to find out, I could go to the library and look through the microfiche of the old. <laughs> what, what, <laughs> you know what I mean? What like, are you doing later today? <laughs> <laughs> um, do you remember the Brown Chicken murders? Do you no, remember that? No. Remember Brown's Chickens? No. Brown's no. Chicken was like a KFC, Popeyes kind of place. Okay. They had like a like a green with yellow logo, with like a bird on it, and someone went in, robbed the place at one near Chicago in the Chicagoland area, murdered people, locked them in the freezer, wow. and then it got turned into something. And it was like a thing in Chicago where it was like trying to sell the brown chicken, and nobody's buying it. God, this so could be maybe this, this, this could be the case at God City here today. We don't know until we do some research. Yeah, I mean there are all those bass players that are you know buried in the basement <laughs> too. Like I'm not counting. I'm just I was only counting the stuff from before. How I many here. how many bad takes until you kill a bass player? <laughs> that Usually I just eat them. Yeah. Alive. That yeah. seems insane. <laughs> you shouldn't be saying. You don't, you don't eat your bass player? <laughs> um, just kidding. I haven't have... actually eaten any bass players. What have you heard about the town? Boston is made from mostly filled land, so Salem was the original commerce port of Massachusetts. Wow. It like pre it predates Boston, and if you go down to the wharf area um, on Derby Street, is the Customs House, which has like a big you know big granite steps and like a gold eagle on the top of it. Um, that is reportedly one of the most haunted places in Salem, and so the Customs House is where the goods and the money were. So when the pirates came into town, they just came into port. Ran across the street, went to the customs house, killed everybody, took all the stuff. Uh, so there was a lot of <laughs> there were a lot of activity over there, and and um, you know steal stuff and smuggle and yeah. So when was the last time so that on. happened? Ooh, um, like Tuesday, I think. Yeah. What day? So yes. it's gonna be fresh in there. I mean, <laughs> yeah, fresh. They might not fresh, have it fresh blood. If I were to, so okay, so I'd like to go to the woods here because okay. I'm sure some. Terrible things have happened. So they some some um, forensic archaeologists recently figured out where the gallows actually were. Okay. And surprise, it's like in the middle of a cul-de-sac behind a Walgreens. Oh. And like total like residential neighborhood. 
Um, and they, they did put up like a little bit of a plaque, but they've really discouraged people from going over there because it's not, it's like a, just a residential neighborhood. I, was the crushing around there too? The crushing? The more weight guy? What? There was a, was there was a man who was convicted of, of witchcraft and he was crushed to death. They put weight on him until he died. That's and, and horrible. And when, when they asked, do you admit, he said more weight. That's all he said. I feel like that's in some movie. It's in The Crucible, but it's oh. it's, uh, it's like a well-known yeah. thing. Like so really The happened. Crucible, I think a lot of that stuff took place in Danvers or maybe Peabody. One of the first things anybody here around here is going to tell you is that like Salem and the time of the witchcraft trials was geographically much larger than it is today. Uh, so a lot of like the events actually took place in what are now the neighboring towns. Where the Fuddruckers was. <laughs> yeah, there's a Fuddruckers. There's a Fuddruckers in Saugus on Route 1. Is that the one you're talking about? In, inside the Home Depot? There's like a Home Depot, a movie theater. They're near, they're near, they're near each other. Yeah. Yeah. Um, big, big yeah, they get the, big the cheddar pump. You like the cheddar pump, don't you? Love. You hurt. <laughs> you know I love the cheddar pump. <laughs> Fries and just... Oh, they do have the big fries. Big old fries. fries. That's right. Oh. What you should do is go to some of the cemeteries. Yep. Oh. In particular, the uh, the Charter Street Cemetery, which is close to um, close to the Lobster Shanty. Perfect. Uh, the Charter Street Cemetery has obviously no no witches are buried there, but judges from the witchcraft trials are there. Perfect. And you know they're cursed. <laughs> they are. Hey. Also, people from the Mayflower are buried there. Hey. Maybe there's some youngs there. Some youngs there. Oh, sure. yeah. His, his. I'm the OG. Oh, I thought you were just, I just thought, I assumed you were from Connecticut. I am, but <laughs> but before that, oh. Mayflower. It's <laughs> a good place to wrap it up, I'd say. Yeah. We don't want to take up too much of this time. Man, it's a mix of, it's a work Thank you man. so much for having us, Craig. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, this is excellent. Thanks for stopping by. Enjoy, enjoy the weekend. The next time you see me, it might not be me in this body. It might be possessed by somebody else. It's him, especially. <laughs> Because he doesn't believe, so he's fucked. I don't you know, it. he's susceptible to spiritual violence. I would say that's a good name for an album: spiritual violence or susceptible to spiritual S violence. Spiritual violence, I think, is good. That's pretty good. If you, if you know, that's the name of the episode. Copyright. Cut that out, so I got it. <laughs> All right? Spiritual. You violence. staked a claim. I did. Yeah. All right, let's rock. Thank you so much, Kurt. Cool. Yeah, no problem. I'm scared. So we're, where are we going right now, Colin? We're going to a cemetery, past the gates. Yeah. It, it, well, we might have to be, have to do a little B and E. Might have to be a little saying? sneaky, yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Which... Oh, turn here. How about that? Wow. We're really close. We're basically there. It's right over there. I like it here. It's beautiful. I imagine if it's snowy. You know what it reminds oh. me of is Europe. It's kind of, it's kind of willagey. Yeah, it gives me willage vibes. There is a little bit of a willage going on. Look at this gas lit little lantern here. This is cool. Gorgeous. They got soaps. They sell soaps. What's that over there? <laughs> oh my God. Pirate. So that's, that's something we found out that along with ghosts and witches, there's also pirate shit. It smells incredible. It smells really good. It smells like burning wood. It does. Hopefully it's, it's not perfume. A, not witches. It smells, oh my God. Because that is. That's what happens. That's what they smell like. It's even on Google Maps. It says old burying ground. So where we're going now is an old, old cemetery in Salem where not only potential witches were buried, after being burned and flogged and mollied. Also the judges that condemned them to death. So we're gonna see their graves today and maybe see one of them a full body apparition. Or disembodied. Possibly. Charter Street Cemetery, National Registry, Historic Places. Oh wow, it's on the National Registry. Witch Trials Memorial. There we go. It's funny because like half of this place is like kind of scary. And then the other half is just like beautiful. New beautiful building. Yeah. And then there's this, you know, this is restored, obviously, but. Let me at the cemetery gates. I've got a sunny day. Keats and Yates are on your is that side. Locked? That's a, that's a good backdrop here. It's a yes. lot of graves. Yeah. This is very scary. Charter Street Cemetery. Yeah, this is this is where you told us to check out. Yeah. As you can see behind us, a sea of gravestones, weathered in time. Weathered from weather, even. Yeah. Rain, sleet, snow? I Just like the USPS. I don't think that happens. What do you mean? <laughs> Joking. Oh. Obviously, it's weathered from weather. Very good. Great joke, Bowen. The names are almost worn thin. Yeah, completely. I can't see any of them. Just to stop the people, passersby, from identifying the horrific acts done 
by the people buried here. And done two by <laughs> the people buried. In addition to. As well as. Ditto. Hmm. There's a, uh, a tour happening a little bit behind the. Uh, so whenever they fuck off, show we'll on. fuck on. We're going to fuck on. But it doesn't look like they're going in either, so we may be. It's just, what is the point? What if I tell my my great. 15th generation. Niece, my great niece. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, these look fake. You know? It, there's so many that it looks fake. Oh, shit, look at this. Oh, we got crystals. We got Whoa, some witchy crystals okay. here. Okay. Sarah Good. Sarah Good. Goody Proctor. In the summer, too? Terrible time to be hanged. Sweaty. Oh, my God, I know. July, I mean, climate change wasn't quite as bad as it it's is still now. hot in the summer. But he, there's something that I saw recently that was truly shocking to me. That's something that something that uh, something serious about climate change that nobody's really talking about. That the goth lifestyle will not be practical eventually. So we must protect goth women and save the planet so that they can continue I, to wear their cool stuff. I've never lived another way. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Come on. Absolutely. As you can see, the names here, very famous names. Sarah Good, hang July 1692. 19. Elizabeth Howe. Hanged, July 19th, 1692. Susanna Martin, Sean Martin's aunt. Hanged, <laughs> July 19th. This is one day. Yeah, one day. They just cleaned them out. Holy up. fuck. We well, I here? mean, you got to get rid of a witch. What are you going to do? That's true. Sarah Wilds, July 16th. Well, now. July 19th. That sounds like a witch name. Sarah Wilds? She's a witch. No matter what she did, I'd be like, listen, Sarah. Everyone else is cool. talk. Sarah, well, let's find the crush guy. The crush guy? Yeah, he was part of it. The guy with the weights? Yeah. Weights? The guy with the weights? Not weights, rates. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. George J. Oh. George J. Irishman. That's his name. name too. John Proctor. The homie, dude. DDL. Played by Daniel. John Proctor in The Crucible. Played by the greatest actor to ever live. Daniel Day Lewis. My primary care physician. Daniel J. Lewis. Put it together. What do you got? Witchcraft. What do you got on the south? Samuel Wardwell. Hang September 22nd, that's after my later. birthday. This man was hanged after my birthday. Well, before, by several hundred years, but then also after. But this could be why my parents went with that day. Margaret. Margaret so this is a whole different event. Scott. This no, 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 it was just later on. It was two months later, but this they, is the same day. Yeah, 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 but, but what I'm saying is they hanged people to kind of set a Hey, we're serious. Like, don't witch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't witch here. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Witch, please. <laughs> Mary Parker. That's a sad one. She sounds kind. Oh, oh God, oh, Alice Parker. Parker. Now she's a bitch. Are we being disrespectful? Who? Us. Me? <laughs> to who? To the dead. Oh. I'm trying to make some shit happen here, you know? Yeah. It's all about content. They know I don't mean it. I'm just... I want them to hear me, so they stay with me, and then I can bring them around. You know, yeah. it's out of love. Yeah. Sounds like these folks are leaving soon. So maybe yeah, we, we dawdle. Yeah. yeah. Flashlights were a great call. Great call. Do you guys have any questions? Martha. Martha. Corey. Corey. Wow. Two first names. Tragic. Always bad. Yeah. Oh, He's bad. Paul. Thank you. Kyle Thomas. Oh, Devastating. God, there it is. There we go. See, I told you. Under the what next? Wow. Giles Corey. With a big puddle. Look at that. Of Different day. Press two days death. before my birthday. Giles Corey. Yeah. yeah, tell him the story. I will. So I don't remember why exactly. It's been a while since I saw that movie. But basically, this guy got. Yeah, it's, we'll guys. wait for these people to pass. Wait for them to pass. They want to hear it too. You know more. Than, <laughs> you know more than the guy. I'm New sure. tour yeah. now. Thank you. Thank you so much, guys. Thanks, Any more tours tonight? Me, no. You want to do a private one for us? Uh, you, got, you, got, you got PayPal? Hey, wow. if you can, that'd be great. I got a little time. You're and are you sure. okay with being on camera? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So well, let's uh, give David a proper intro first. You're absolutely right. City on a Hill tours? Yep. Is that, do you want to plug them or do you want it to be? Oh, no, that's, yeah, that's fine. That's my, my business. So I'm a, uh, I'm a historian. I'm a local tour guide. Um, I do big public tours, I do private tours, and I, my, my company is City on the Hill Tours. We were walking around, we were looking at the memorial benches, yep. reading the names, reading all, you know, obviously most, the majority were hanged. We got to Giles. Yep. 
we would love, we're familiar with the story. I'd love to hear you tell the story. Yeah, so um, Giles is, so there's a lot involved with Giles' story. Um, yeah, sorry, uh, you said uh, Giles. I, 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 I've only heard Giles, but um, so Giles Corey is probably one of the more well-known names because of how he died. So he was, we call pressed to death. He's the only person that we know of in North America to, to be killed in this ma manner. It's not, so people think uh, it's called being pressed to death, but it's not because he was he was crushed to death by stones, but it's because they're they were pressing him for, for answers to, to, uh, to enter a plea. So it said that he was, uh, he was uh, an old crotchety guy, he's about 80 years old, but he was accused of, of being a witch. And so um, it, kind of the, the long short of it is it, when he gets into, into the courtroom in front of the judge, he needs to enter a plea. He needs to say guilty or not guilty to the accusation. And he apparently says nothing. And um, we think because there's, there's a loophole in the system. If you don't enter a plea, then technically the trial can't move on. Um. And it's probably because he figures the, the town doesn't like him already, and he probably realizes he's, he's not going to make it through this, and so he's probably just trying to delay the inevitable. And so he he's, just says nothing. And so um, he's tortured to get a plea out of him. And what they did was they, they laid him on the ground and they put a big board across his body. And then every hour on the hour, they stacked a really big stone on top of him until he either entered a plea or he died. So he was uh, he was almost 81 at the time. And he lasted for two and a half days like this. Holy oh my shit. God. Is there, a, is there an estimate of the sure weight? That. So I've, seen, I've heard uh, 250, 300 kilograms. Um, oh, wow. If you like, because if you break it down, you know, a stone like this size, you know, every hour for two and a half days, you can probably get a rough estimate. But he was like, uh, so even though he was 80, he was like a very athletic and strong guy. And so they think he just held out that long because he was just in, in, in pretty good physical shape. And um, yeah, Ooh. yeah. Chilly. So um, he, uh, so after two and a half days, this is more, this part's more legend. I, I don't know if. We can prove that this is actually said, but it was said that the the sheriff, who is who is the, the, the executioner, mm -hmm. his name is George Corwin. He uh, comes up to him on the third day and says, "How do you plea?" And supposedly the only answer that Corey gave back was more weight. Oh, right, hard. Right. And so uh, crazy, very crazy, very crazy. So the sheriff apparently doesn't like this, and the story goes that he gets frustrated and he smashed the last stone down, and, wow. and that was it for Giles Corey. That was intense. Yeah. Uh, heavy. Uh, I also part of the punch. There, 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 there's a there's a second part of it though. Please. So he was uh, his wife, who is here, Martha. Uh, she was accused of being a witch as well, and I don't remember if he directly said she's a witch or when the accusations were made. He kind of was like. I don't know. That would explain a lot about her. You know, it didn't really stick up. For His her. own wife? Yeah, yeah. And so uh, she was. You would do that to me. No. Man. So she was found guilty, and uh, three days after he was killed, she was hanged for wow. witchcraft. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And there's no access to the cemetery. This uh, day, not right? at this time. So during the day, usually it's uh, it, it's open. They just redid the paths, and so they just control how many people go through it because oh, okay. there's been some people that have had to uh, try to grave rob and, oh and steal graves and uh, cool. whatnot, even still. So uh, we've we heard that there are cemeteries with judges from the yep. trials buried in it. Are any of them here? Yep. So uh, John Hathorn is buried in the middle. Yeah, See that one right that. there? Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, and the reason was, I think like 20 years ago, some knucklehead tried to steal his, his grave. The whole thing. And so he pulled it out of the ground. And so now it's encased in like a granite slab wow. uh, to, to be harder to steal. Gotcha. Um, and it's John Hathorne. So John Hathorne is one, one of the five uh, magistrates or judges of the trials, and his nickname was the Hanging Judge because of the sentence that he liked to give out. He's responsible for sentencing more than any of the other judges, so he has a really bad reputation. He really showed no remorse either later on. Um, so you can and, see what well, kind of why these knuckleheads would want to face something like this. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah of course. It, yeah. Did, and, did confess, confessees, confessors get to live? Yeah, so uh, wow. everybody that was that wrong. makes no sense. <laughs> everybody that was executed uh, to the end claimed to be innocent. Do the Sam witch trials have anything to do with us implementing a jury of peers rather than a judge individually doing everything? No, nope. so juries were already used. So the the trials were done with juries. Oh, okay. Grand juries that looked over the uh, evidence. Um, 
But, I mean, it's crazy. Like, so I don't know if you know the story of Rebecca Nurse. Uh, Rebecca Nurse was um, accused. She was uh, initially found not guilty. But when the not guilty verdict was read, apparently all of her accusers, who were mostly young girls in, in the courtroom, they began going hysterical. Yeah, they freaked out. That was in the crucible. Yep. That, that, that's like a yeah, yeah. really good scene yeah. in the crucible. Yeah. And so they sent the jury back into deliberation. And wouldn't you know it, they came back with a guilty verdict. Oh, my yeah, God. Tar- obviously, totally not constitutional today. Yeah, no. But, yeah, they had juries back then. Um, but this really kind of shows what proves why having a religious colony wasn't a good idea. Yeah. Because it was the ministers. They were they were, they were everything. They were the judges. They were the local leaders. They were the military leaders. And, uh, and by today's standards, they were religious fanatics. So we're going... We're gonna go left up here. All right. Oh boy. All right, and then we're just on this until it ends at the witch house. Okay. So how, how many? We're how looking many at points. <laughs> we are looking at uh, point two. Okay. I would like to come back here when it's warm. Actually. Yeah. It seems like. But it's. I feel like. Is there a warm season here, or is it? Tit nipply or burning alive. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Colin. What? Oh, see, oh. <laughs> see, revenge. Has... <laughs> I just got, I just, I just got horsed by a fellow named Charlie. <laughs> oh. oh my God. <laughs> right after I said burning alive. Oh. That makes me think. <laughs> that wasn't an act of pure chance, but an act of possible witchcraft. Oh no. no. Blackcraft cult. <laughs> Here they are. So where are we going right now, Colin? Let's tell them. We're going to the witch house in Salem. The lore is lost on me, Bo. Do you want to tell the people about it? Jonathan the Corwin House. Oh. Known locally as the witch house is a historic house museum. Uh, it was home of the, ju- of the judge Corwin. And it's the only structure still standing in Salem with direct ties to the trials. The only one? And that's where we're going it's, now? it's old. It's over 300 years old, you know? Is that it at the end? It's at the end, yeah. It's the black one right there. It's because there's got to be a plaque or something. Let's cross. Yeah. Whoa! Let's not cross. Wow. It's pretty intense. I'll tell you what, they were living better back then than I am. Big time. What are the? Well, I mean, the property taxes were an egg, you know. <laughs> Uncooked. I'm be laid on rent. Yeah, fuck, man. My my hens are fucking killing me. So here's the thing. 1642 was built. 50 years or so. Wait, when was it? 1690. Is that when it happened? 1692. So about 50 years before the trials, this 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 house was. Not a witch house. Pleasant. It's just a house. Just happy. And now it's synonymous with. Yeah, I've definitely seen like a million, like Tumblr photos, you know, of girls like standing in front of the door, of that door, wow. for sure. So we're here at the back of the Salem witch house, where a very scary cellar door lies in wait. There's a message on the door. It's uh, closed just about every day. (laughs) Noon to four. Awesome. Latest entry, 345, the witching hour. That's horrifying. (laughs) The door is locked with only a pine cone. You know what movie sucks? Donnie Darko? Donnie Darko because of cellar door. She sucks in that movie. Sit next to the boy who you think is cutest. I mean, that's like disgusting, but also- The movie sucks. The movie's awesome. No idea what it's about. There's a bell back here that keeps ringing in the wind, and it's actually scared me twice now. Hear that? Yeah. It's just that thing right there, the bell. Somebody's house. Oops. <laughs> so interestingly, even the Salem Witch House is susceptible to Massachusetts Sanitation Department. And the birds. And birds are. Damn, on my mama, foo. <laughs> These birds petty as hell. Furious. So for those familiar with the expression, a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. Behind us, the actual bush from the saying. Do you know why they say sleep tight? 
like that with the bug bugs, but yeah. But why is tight? What is like? What does that mean? You like know? tight as fuck, chill. No. <laughs> what does it mean? Mattresses used to be it's suspended by rope. Tighten the mattress so that it's nice and firm, and snug. Sleep tight. What was inside the rope? Like hay and shit. What was inside the rope? Yeah. What is it rope to? What is tight? It's tightening you. No, no, no. Instead of the the, the bed slats or like a box spring, it's Just rope. rope. It's a network of rope, oh, and then wow. the mattress is on it. So the other stuff we could check out is, uh, if we wanted to, is that CVS. Oh, the Walgreens. I think we should do that. Okay. I think we should do that. The Walgreens where, where the gallows were. Where the right? gallows were, yeah. Where all, everybody was, you know. Yeah. We're here at what is now officially dubbed Proctor's Ledge the official site uh, where in the, in, during the witch trials, this is where the gallows were, where every witch was hanged. Here are their names again. Bridget Bishop, Sarah Good, Elizabeth Ho. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. I wonder if these got messed with or what? Yeah, some of them are, maybe the lights are just buried under leaves? Nope. John Proctor, there he is. Like we're standing in the spot where the Salem witch trials concluded with all these people being killed. How does this feel for you? Uh, it's it's behind a Walgreens. And That's the thing is- I can see a television through that window. Yeah. It's pretty, you know, it's hard to say. You know what's crazy is like, some of these trees could have been could little be baby the, like this, acorns back in the day. This tree. Could have been there, who knows? Yeah. I don't know. You don't know. I don't know. What'd you think of Salem? Cold place yeah. to be. Yeah. <laughs> but I had a good time. Oh yeah. It's a really cool place. I miss the sun. Um, Less ghosts, more. This is this is like tragic history, tragic American history. It, it is, but but it's still that niche, isn't it? Yeah. Of course. It sure is. Because what's crazy is like. Whether you believe in witchcraft or not, all of these people died They're in, dead innocently. Because of whatever somebody else believed. Puritanical fanaticism. Yeah. And like, they're dead. They're just dead. Pure, and, 100% innocent. And so that's, some of them, some of their family lineages ended because they're dead. Wow. You know? Wow. Intense. So we're gonna go to a show now. Yeah. Um, Hopefully not bringing back any bad Vibes, any mojo. You know? Yeah, we'll see. Any knocks on your door last night? No, me neither. I we asked front desk if it was haunted at all. He said he no. Was like no. Troy said no. No, I said no. I had Troy. Well, I didn't have fucking Troy, so I don't know what you want from me, man. Yeah. yeah well, so we're not in a haunted hotel this time, luckily. Uh, but the weekend has just begun, <laughs> so we'll see what's going on. We've only just begun. That's a great point. <laughs> Live from Salem, we're freezing our nuts and tits off, and that's it for us today. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. We love you. Bye. Hey Siri. Uh huh. Call fucking asshole. Calling fucking asshole mobile. Hello. Can you come to my room? Yeah. Are you okay? Something's wrong with me. Oh shit! Do you need anything? It's just your presence. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'll be right up. Ah, Colin called me. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with him, but, uh, run up to his room real quick and make sure everything's okay. Now, it's important to remember. Last time we were out of town doing this kind of thing, Colin tried to mess with me. 
as you'll remember from Birmingham, knocked on my door about this time at night too. So we're obviously a little suspicious. Uh, he might be trying to mess with me again, but he also might have a tummy ache. Lord knows he gets tummy aches. So we can't be too careful, but Sean is with me to document, obviously, his shenanigans, whatever you want to call it. Hey. What are you doing, man? You know I like to use the lobby bathroom. I just called you, or you just called me, rather. We just spoke. That was hours ago. So are you good? Ever since we got back from Salem, my room's been so cold. Well, it's burning up in here. You feel that? It's freezing. And my thigh is killing me. Your thigh? Yeah. Like where you ran into the thing? I don't know, should we... Do you need something? I need a lot of things, Bo. My internet's broke. My fucking TV keeps turning off, guy. It's cold like the dickens in here. What if I brought something back? You didn't bring anything back. You ate McDonald's at midnight and we were out in the freezing cold for like eight hours. You know damn well as I do. The McDonald's across the street from the Middle East in Cambridge is one of the all-time great franchise locations. There's no way they would do this to me. Even with the limited late night menu. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, I need you to rub my thigh. I'm not gonna rub your thigh. Please. Does it feel better? No. Keep, I have two more minutes. <laughs> 